Hello friends, welcome to Amazon Tip Webcast and in today's video demonstration, we are going to see how to delegate a control in Active Directory user sense computers. In most organizations, there is a more than one administrator and as organizations grow, administrative tasks are often distributed to various administrators or support administrator. For example, in many organizations, the help desk is able to reset user password and unlock the account of users who are a lockout. These capabilities of help desk is delegated administrative task. The help desk cannot usually able to create a new user account, but it can make specific changes to existing users. In Activity Domain, Domain Administrator is a user who can perform all operations and tasks related to Active Directory Management. By using Active Directory Delegation, you can grant a specific privilege to particular user who can manage your Active Directory. There is an options of delegate control using Active Directory users and computers through which we can deploy our customized access and permissions for particular user. Through this, user can perform the task that administrator is designated to perform. Now in our demonstration, we have one OU named OU1 and under OU we have our user named User1. This user is a member of our group 1 and it is recommended to delegate access to the group instead of delegating permission to an individual user account. And we want to assign a delegation on our OU name OU1. So for that, just uh, right click on your OU and uh, select delegate control. This will only delegate a permission on our OU name OU1. On a welcome wizard, click on next. Now here you have to select one or more user or group to whom you want to delegate a control. In our case, we want to delegate a control to our group name group1. So let's add it. Type name of your group. In our case, the name of our group is group1. Click on check name and click on OK. Click on next. On this console, tasks to delegate, select to delegate the following common task and select permissions from the given task. Or you can select the create custom task to delegate to give a custom permission to the users other than above permission. For this example, we will delegate control for create, delete and manage user account. Reset user password and force password change at next logon and read all user information. You can also select all these things, but for the demonstration purpose, we just want to delegate the control to manage user account only. Click on next. On completing the delegation of control wizard, we can see you choose to delegate control on object in a following active directory folder name mylab.local slash OU1 and we just assign a control to our group name group1. We select these common uh, tasks that are create, delete and manage user account, research user password and force password change at next logon and read all user information. Click on finish to close this console. And that's it. Now we just assign a delegation on our OU name OU1. Now a user name user1 is a member of our group name group1 have a delegated permission. But these rights would not enable our domain user to log on to a domain controller. So to enable user to access Active Directory users and computers consoles from client machine, we need to install remote server administration tools on our client computer. In our next video, we will see how we can install remote server administration tool on client computer and by using remote server administration tool, how we can manage our Active Directory from client computer. So that's it for this video demonstration. In the next video, we will see how to install a remote server administration tool on client computer. Thank you for watching this video.